this. Uh, Mr. Wilder, this is just a, a real minor, a real minor point. But on the on the city's website, uh, there's a, a a link to trash notice in regards to the garbage fee, and it it references the the bill that is to be sent out in July. It says that the next bill is going to be sent out in July. Can we update that when we get a chance? Um, and as long as we're on the subject, I was wondering if we could, if we have an update on uh, the feasibility of issuing tax credits to offset uh, any potential future garbage fee. I don't have anything to look at yet. I hope to have something. Uh, I was going to bring it to the next meeting for y'all to look at, but that's July the 4th, so, so the next one would be July the 11th. That's kind of too far away, so I'll try to get something to y'all by the end of this week for y'all to review. That would be great. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Um, the, well, that's a piece of your business. I can wait. Thanks, Mayor. <laughs> Business, uh, Commissioner Turner. I just have one piece of old business, and it's kind of a two-part question. First, uh, first part of the question is, one of the things that the Commission has requested and is in this budget that we just passed is to allow Kentucky State University students to uh, ride and access our transit system for the charge. Uh, my first question is, that does go into effect July 1st, is that right, Jeff? Or is that in effect now? Could you repeat the question? Uh, when does it become effective that Kentucky State University students can ride our transit system free of charge? I guess we have not been directed to. We, we met with President Sias and had a discussion with President Sias, and we've come back and talked to, the, to you all. And I guess we just need clear direction of when you want us to start. My understanding, uh, Mr. Goins was that that was to be part of this budget uh, that this commission agreed to. Do. Was that am I not on basis? Well, it's not a budget item oh. mm -hmm. because it's maybe part of the July 1st directive, but it's really not a monetary item. Could be I, that would be in the I, budget. I think it was just assumed by everyone that it would start July 1st. Yeah. The the uh, most of the college kids, you know, are home now. Um, but those who are on campus would certainly benefit from it. I mean, we could start it. I, I can't speak for, for you, because, but I would think that uh, we could start it immediately. If we, we go through campus presently, don't we? Ever, don't we don't yes, we, our, our fixed buses go through mm -hmm. campus currently. Mm -hmm. um, and we have the trolley that runs near the campus. Um, so. If July 1st we could start a program and work out if it's just their student ID would that be the, the trigger to would that be the sensible trigger that's how I've seen it done in Louisville that's how they do it and I don't know about Lexington or other cities but I know you just show your student ID and, and it shows proof that you're a student okay sure we, we, uh, we could get together and, and decide uh, some strategies on advertising that so yeah. folks know it's available and that, that leads into my second question point. Uh, what have what links have we gone to inform the president of Kentucky State about this? I mean, have we have we talked to her and informed her that this was something that we were going to do yet? Hey, I think I think you said you did actually. Yes, we've talked to her and, and some of her staff several months ago, and uh, after learning they do this same type of program in other cities, and so it's, it's probably going to need, need to follow up and get the word out if, if the city's going to start this when we're going to start it and if we're going to use the ID badge as you know the proof that they're a student whereas if you're not a student then you have to pay the, the regular fare. Sure. Thank you for all your hard work. Any other business? See none. Uh, new business. Uh, Mr. Lebron. Item 10.1 to authorize the submission of a 2011 Kentucky Community Development Block Grant application for a disaster recovery project for the Home Street area not to exceed $300,000 and authorize the mayor to sign all grant related documents. Do you have a motion for approval? So moved. 
Yeah. Commissioner Turner, do we have a second? Commissioner May, uh, call the roll, please. Commissioner Wilder? Yes. Commissioner Hayden? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Commissioner May? Yes. Mayor Brown? Uh, yes, so team point one is adopted. Is there any other new business? Commissioner Wilder. This is just a, a rather quick question. Uh, somebody asked me earlier uh, over the weekend, and I, I just said I would ask here if we have any local regulations regarding fireworks, regarding when and where they can be set off in anticipation of Independence Day. The uh, fireworks law has changed. However, uh, it's my understanding that we're studying the situation, uh, Chief Prosage. We're studying it, and, and if we feel a need, we will propose something. Is that correct? Well, and really, I'm just curious to know what the what the current regs are, just for the public's information and for our, our information. The um, fireworks regulations changed March of this year. Um, Generally speaking, everything that was illegal before is now legal. Uh, before, we pro what was prohibited by state law, anything that flew through the air and firecrackers, anything that exploded, those were illegal. Those are now all legal. Um, there are some stipulations that cannot be sold to anyone under 18. Uh, anyone selling them has to be at least 18. Uh, and there's some permitting processes. We have to be notified of the quantities and where they're located, as does the state fire marshal's office. Um, as far as um, shooting them off, they're not supposed to be shot within 200 feet of any structure, vehicle, or person. That's going to be very difficult to enforce. Um, and if, if uh, people are shooting them in their backyards, if we go there, or the police department goes there, it's usually over and done with by the time someone arrives and we have to see them doing it. All we can do is issue a warning if we're aware of it. So. Uh, there is a stipulation in the law that allows a locality to adopt their own ordinances limiting, limiting uh, consumer fireworks or banning them altogether. There are only about three localities in the state at this point that have done so. So most, most localities are taking the same approach we are, just to see how it goes through this season and probably through the New Year's season. And if, uh, if we get a proliferance of problems we may we may propose that so as of now uh all the all the fireworks stands that are in town are all legal and in compliance we're just watching it uh, and i guess that in terms of when they can be set off i guess are just <coughs> local noise ordinances and common sense yes um, that. what what the public is going to have to do if they have complaints is call 911 and let it be a police call uh, but I don't want to speak with Chief Will Hoyt, but like, as I said, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult to enforce, but we will, start, we will try to respond to all complaints. Don't call 911. It's not an emergency. I was going to correct that. Don't <laughs> worry. Right. <laughs> call, call, call the police number. <laughs> and that's it in a nutshell. Anything else? Thanks, Chief. Okay. Thank you, Chief. That's a perfect segue for uh, Mr. Jim McCarthy to make an announcement about the uh, partnering with the VFW and other organizations. Monday, it's the uh, 51st year that the veterans have shot fireworks off. And uh, Foxy Tracy shot him for 51 years. He's 82 years old. He's a city employee. Uh, we invite you all to come down to fireworks. We'll start around 9.45 at dusk, somewhere in the area, shoot them off in a Capitol View Park. But if you all want to come down and eat, you're welcome to come down at 7 o'clock and eat with the veterans. Uh, they're dwindling, as you know. But we have a great group of veterans, and we owe them a lot of gratitude. So what we do is we feed them, they enjoy the fireworks show, and then they go home. But certainly we would ask all of you all to come and show appreciation for our veterans. Okay. Any other questions? Any questions, Commissioner? I've been getting, I had a phone call yesterday morning, a Sunday morning. A guy called me and said, hey, answer man. When are we going to have the fireworks display? Do we have them on Saturday or? No, well, or no you, uh, on the 4th. Yeah, okay. The only time they don't is on Sunday and that's you on Saturday. I, I, I really, I said, well, I assume they're going to be on the 4th, but I found out, I found out, so I got, I left it on his, his uh, cell phone and I got 
message on man was that thanks, thanks for man. So, so anyway, thank you for it. I think maybe other people might want to know that, you know, if it's going to be on Saturday or, or Monday, so it's going to be on Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Yes, okay, thank you so much. Yes, thanks. Okay, is there, I'm down to the adjournment now. Anybody want to make, make a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Mr. Turner, you got a second? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Weiler. <laughs> Mr. Weiler. Yes. Mr. Hedden. Yes. Mr. Turner. Yes. Mr. May. Yes. Mr. Graham. Uh, yes, we're adjourned.